So, good morning. Welcome to week seven for our January to May 2015 courses in Fundamentals of Programming and Solution to Problems Using Programming. So, basically, this week uh, we'll start putting out some more quizzes as well. We'll have a quiz that is more uh, uh, in, this, in the sense of I'll show you some code and I'll ask you perhaps what's wrong with this code. Multiple choice to make it quick for you to evaluate yourself and for me to evaluate you. Um, as well as we'll have some code that'll, that'll show some statements in Python or C++ depending on your course and ask you to say what's the value of this variable at this point in time or what will this code actually print out. So you can tr practice tracing through and reading code which I think is just as important or more important than writing code. So there's that. You, uh, for the Monday class you'll get your exams back today. The Friday class already had their exams back on Friday. I need you to post any requests for um, revision of, of grading of the homework assignments, WSQs or masteries by 1 p.m. today. Um, you know how to do, uh, do that. You just go in here and you hit grades and you hit grading issue and you report your issue. Um, if there's a multiple issues, you can just report once and then in the comment section write which ones are missing. If you don't tell me details, I'll just mark it as done. So don't say, I need all my stuff marked that's not going to be very helpful. If you say, hey, um, I disagree with the grade on mastery number seven, and I don't see WSQ seven and eight graded, can you please check that for me, please? All right, so be specific so I can help you. Um, uh, a, a note about masteries, uh, a lot of people are submitting masteries and they think that um, the two point, remember there's the one point which shows that you know. Two points is to give a, a learning experience for someone else. So knowing something is not just simply, okay, I know that if I call range of 10, that'll give me the range between zero up to nine inclusive or up to 10 in exclusive. Uh, what about a range with two parameters or three parameters? Have you looked in the book or have you looked on the video or the documentation for the Python definition of range to find that out? Uh, for for loops in C++, are you looking that you can identify, create an identifier inside the, the definition of the for loop? Looking at all these details, do you have to specify all three things? Do you have to have semicolons? Are they commas? Go through details and actually explain it. Just, don't just say, here, I did one. That's, that's not quite enough. If you can just do one, it doesn't mean you can do all the variations. For the learning type experience for two points, it really needs to be something that brings the learner through the process of, of learning that skill. And you should be able to demonstrate that because you've already learned that skill. If you haven't learned that skill, then you can't really teach it to someone else because being able to actually um, show someone is an even higher way of learning any topic. The other thing you should be checking out is hit check your grade. If everything's showing up 42s, uh, or actually no 42s, it says uh, no data, I believe now. I changed that to remove the funniness of 42. Yeah, it says no data, no data, no data. Why? Because, well, I'm not logged in right now, so my course page doesn't know who I am. Remember, you have to log in. Login screens are links at the bottom of the page. So definitely do that and uh, check your grade, make sure everything's fine. Uh, you'll, three of the groups of the four groups will see me today, so feel free just to grab me in class. Today's session is gonna be catch up time. Uh, you can talk to me about what you think you need me to look at for you. Uh, I definitely want to talk to you about what you need to do going forward to make sure everything's fine for the rest of the semester. Good news, exams, most people did really well. I'm very happy about that. And comparing it to previous semesters, I think uh, this format of making you active learn is, uh, is just, uh, driving results for a lot of you. So that's a good thing. Uh, let's see, that should be about it. So have an awesome week and we'll have a quiz up soon, probably Wednesday-ish. And uh, we'll see you all in class today or tomorrow.